Now that is what an internal combustion engine car sounds like. And that is what an electric car sounds like when it started. Silent. Since 1886, when the first Benz car was made, well, the adoption or use of internal combustion engines has a balloon. Currently, we have about 1.4 billion cars across the globe. Now, out of that number, we have about 10 plus million being electric cars or hybrids. Now, when you come to Ghana and you're talking about electric cars, there are about just a thousand or so, a mixture of fully electric as well as hybrids. Now, the question is, why would anyone choose electric? And if it is so important or so beneficial, what steps can be taken by stakeholders to ensure that its adoption is increased? Well, let's start off by finding out for someone who uses an electric vehicle, Mr. Sander Abdulaziz, to tell us why anyone should choose electric. Before now, when I was using a normal car, it was just 500 CDs a week for fuel. Um, today, I mean, before the increases, um, that 500 will take me for a month. So, I mean, you could do the math. So it's, it's way cheaper, way, way, way cheaper. So 500 back then for a week, now 500 for a month? Yes, 500 for a month. Some would say that, okay, it should be expensive. Then you might be paying uh, huge electric bills. No, not at all. I can tell you that I have just seen a 100, 100 CDs increase in my bill. So for a whole month, I just pay an, an extra 100 CDs for for charging it. So individuals like Sanda Abdulaziz are doing their part by buying into the electric car dream. But what can stakeholders like government do to ensure that adoption is quickened? Now we've come to the Energy Commission where we are st we're going to talk with the project uh, lead when it comes to e-mobility, Madame Doris Agbavivi, to find out what steps can be taken to ensure that electric cars are adopted by Ghanaians. Um, in the future, uh, when it comes to the vehicle space, we should expect that EVs will get a larger voice in terms of the import duties. When I say larger voice, I'm looking at um, a thing where you could get import exemptions, really. But that's a bigger conversation because when it comes to the port of Ghana, our figures are not just set by Ghana. This an echo thing. We're hoping in the future that EVs will be seen for what it is, low, zero emission vehicles or almost low emission vehicles and will be quantified as such. So then if an EV is getting 20% at the port, we're expecting that it becomes maybe 5% or better still, zero um, import duties for a couple of years. But it has to be done well because we've had countries where people who benefited from the import exemptions became the car importers the business people. So they import the cars, get import exemptions, but still slash profit on it such that what government even intended to do doesn't really happen. While individual Ghanaians are importing their own EVs and hybrids, stakeholders believe that big automobile companies such as Porsche also need to chip in. At the government level, do, does, do we need some policies in place to support you know, people of importing? You know? Of course, we need that. We need that 1,000%, not 100% because without it, we cannot uh, advance. And as I said, the decision has to be done now before later. I mean, def like all the other countries are doing, they are given incentives uh, in terms of taxation, duty and VAT for the electric cars or anything electric powered cars to come in. I mean, just if you take into consideration the number, because what's the biggest bill for Ghana? Ex import bill is fuel. So imagine when all that will move, so the bill will be reduced in terms of foreign currency to exchange. According to Reuters, as of September 2021, there were about 300 public charging stations dotted across the globe. In Ghana, we know that this is one of 10 stations dotted around the capital. Currently at a Total Liberation Road, Cars such as Porsche can drive in and charge for free, while other vehicles of American make and European make can also drive in, park and charge. Now this is one of ten, but indeed it is a significant step in helping with the adoption of electric vehicles in Ghana 
and uh, beyond. For City Business News, my name